guys, let's start a new project and name it as BMI Calculator. Welcome to Coding Classroom, where creativity meets code and learners become coding superheroes. Here we will add table arrangement. Presently there are two columns and two rows. One row is for height label and one is for weight label as you can see in the picture next to it. Height and width of table is automatic. Now let's add the label and drop down to table. Height of label is automatic and width of label is automatic means label text will take space according to alphabets we write. Font size is 14 and font type face is default. Now let's change its text to your height in centimeters. Anytime you want to include text in the UI of your app, you can use a label. Labels can display things like instructions, a title or a list. Text boxes are components that allow users to input information like a name, number or date in an app. They are found in the user interface palette. Layouts help to format components so they are attractive and organized on the screen. Now let's add text box and drop down to table next to label 2. Add label 3 and drop down to table below label 2. As you can see in final picture, we need to add one more text box and one button component so that when we click we get the desired result. To show the desired result we will need one more label component. Now let's change label 3 text to your weight in kilograms. Now friends add text box 2 and drop down to table below text box 1. Variables are like containers for information. Friends now let's change the variable name of text box to component to txt weight so that one can easily remember the variable name of weight component and the value it will hold when user enters the information. Now change the variable name of text box 1 component to txt height. This variable is used to store height in centimeters. In Metap Inventor, buttons are components that users touch to perform some action in your app. Buttons detect when users tap them. Friends, let's add button and drop down below table. Let's change its text to compute your BMI so that one knows what will happen when one will click this button. A button is a graphical user interface GUI, element that users can interact with by clicking or tapping on it. It is commonly used in software applications, websites, and mobile apps to trigger an action or initiate a specific operation. Now let's make button little bit more attractive. Change the font size to 18 to look more clear and visible. We should add a little bit of colors in it. Make background color to yellow. Text color to. Let me think. Okay. Blue will be good. Now change the variable name of button 1 component to btn compute bmi. Friends now add another label and drop down below button component. This label will be used to show the desired result as shown in picture next to it. Now change the text of this label component to none or empty. Change the font size to 18 to make it more big and visible. Now change the text color to red. Now change the variable name of this label component to LBL BMI result. This label will be used to show the desired BMI result as shown in picture next to it. Now add one more label component. Change the text of this label component to none or empty. Now change the variable name of this label component to LBL BMI category. 
This label will be used to show the desired BMI category as shown in picture next to it. Now change the text color of this label to red and make the font size 18 to appear big and visible. So guys we have done making a wonderful user friendly interface for our BMI calculator program. Let's now do the coding part and make it function. Now friends see it in the upper right corner there is button called blocks. Click it to enter the coding part interface or blocks editor. Click the variables drawer to open it and drop down initialize global name to block in the work area. Give this variable name height and now right click on block to open up menu to select duplicate. Give this variable name height too. We will need another variable and give this variable name weight. We will need one more variable and give this variable name BMI result. Click the math drawer to open it and drop down zero block in the work area. Now initialize all variables to value zero so that no garbage value is stored in these variables. So now let's find out our button named BTN Compute BMI, here it is. So when we click it performs the necessary calculations to compute the BMI. These mustard yellow blocks are called event handler blocks. The event handler block specifies how the mobile device should respond to certain events such as when a button has been clicked or the phone has been shaken or when the user is dragging his finger over a canvas, etc. Click the variables drawer to open it and drop down set to block in the work area. Now click the block and select global height variable. Click the variable txt drawer in the table arrangement to open it. Drag and drop txt height dot text to the work area as shown. Click the variables drawer and drop down set to block and select the global weight variable. Click the variable txt weight drawer in the table arrangement to open it. Drag and drop txt weight dot text. Click the variables drawer and drag and drop set to block. Select height to variable. Our first step is to convert the height into meters. For that, we will divide the variable height by 100 to convert centimeters to meter and store it in variable height too. Now click the math drawer to open and drop down the divide operator. Oh sorry, I picked the wrong one. Let's move it aside. And now pick up the divide operator. First we will need height variable. For that open variable drawer. Then drag and drop get to block. Now select height variable. Now we need 100 in second box. For that open math drawer. Then drag and drop 0 block. Now make 0 to 100 or any value you need. Let's store this in the height variable only. Now open variable drawer. Then drag and drop set to block. Select height to variable. Open the math drawer. Drag and drop the multiply operator. Now we need get to block. Make it duplicate or get it from variable drawer. Now we need to multiply the height variable by the height variable. Now open variable drawer. Then drag and drop set to block. Select BMI result variable. Open math drawer. Drag and drop divide operator. Now we will need two variables. One is the weight variable and the other is the height to variable according to the formula shown below. So let's drag and drop get to variable from variable drawer and select weight variable and height to variable. 
Move this block to somewhere else or you can also delete it by dragging and dropping it to this bin. Now select LBLBMI result drawer. Find the block set LBLBMI result dot text. Then drag and drop it. Now open the text drawer which is pink in color. Find the block join. Then drag and drop it. Now open the text drawer and select the topmost block and empty string. Then drag and drop it. Now we want the BMI result to be printed as the BMI is some value as shown in the picture next to it. This block joins the strings together. So now we want BMI result dot text. To get some variable value we must go to the variable drawer. Then drag and drop get to block. Now select BMI result. Congratulations guys, the program's first part is over. Let's check the output. Click the connect tab at the top of the screen. Under connect. Click emulator so that a virtual device opens up your program to interact with it. Awesome! Congratulations guys on the successful execution of your program. Let's now input some random values for height and weight and see the BMI result. So now when we click compute your BMI button we get the result as the BMI is 29.39622. So let's check our results. Open the BMI calculator in your browser. Here one more parameter is their age. We can add it later on, let's ignore it for a while. Now enter the height and weight value that we have entered in an emulator and check the results. Here the browser shows 23.1 BMI and our program shows 23.14815 that because we have not used round off. Let's check another on. Enter some random values for height and weight. Let's enter height 174 and weight 89. The browser shows 29.4 BMI after rounding off. Let's check our result on emulator. Our program shows 29.39622. So guys congratulations, the results are correct. Now guys let's add the category part in our program as you can see in browser BMI calculator. We will need if then control to check where the BMI value falls. Open the control drawer. Drag and drop if then control block. Here is the BMI chart. We will put if then conditions according to this chart. Now open the variable drawer. Then drag and drop get to block. Select BMI result. Oh no. I need some comparison operators to compare. Open the math drawer. Drag and drop comparison operator. Select less than and equal to operator. Drag and drop get to block in the first box. Open the math drawer. Drag and drop zero block to the second box. Write 18.5 as shown in the picture below. So now when BMI is less than and equal to 18.5 then the BMI category will be you are underweight. Now open the LBLBMI category drawer. Drag and drop set LBLBMI category dot text block. Now we need an empty string. So go to the text drawer. Drag and drop empty string block. In empty string, write you are underweight. So guys if this condition is false then we have to go for the second category means if BMI is greater than 18.5 and less than 24.9. For that, we will need else if condition that is if BMI is less than and equal to 
Click on the setting button on if then block. To block pops up. Else if and else block. We will need else if block as we have more conditions. Drag and drop else if block as shown. As you can see else if block appears in the if then block. Now make a duplicate of the above blocks as we need to check if BMI is less and equal to 24.9. Again make duplicate of above blocks as shown to display BMI category. When it comes to understanding your BMI, it's crucial to know what constitutes a normal and healthy range. The BMI scale provides a helpful guideline to assess whether your weight falls within a healthy zone. If the condition is true then we will write you are normal and healthy. Now we will use the last else if block for the third condition. Now we have to go for the third condition, that is if BMI is less than and equal to 29.9. A normal and healthy BMI indicates that your weight is balanced in relation to your height, reducing the risk of certain health conditions and promoting overall well-being. It's important to remember that everyone's body is unique and BMI is just one piece of the puzzle. We will set label category result.txt as you are overweight to display to user if BMI is greater than 24.9 but less than or equal to 29.9. For the last condition, we will only go for the L statement. This is because if above all three conditions are false then it means that BMI is greater than or equal to 30. We will only duplicate the set LBL BMI category dot text block and display as you are obese. If the first condition applies then you are underweight. If not in the second condition applies then you are normal and healthy. If not in the third condition applies then you are overweight. And if this is false that means fourth conditions applies and you are obese. Click the connect tab at the top of the screen. Under Connect, click Emulator so that a virtual device opens up your program to interact with it. Now let's add some random values to check the BMI and its category. Let height be 174 and weight 89. So when we click the button, we get BMI as 29.39 and category as overweight. Now when weight is 90 then BMI is 29.72 and category overweight. Let's check it with the browser. Ok, make weight 91. So now BMI 30.056 and the category is obese. Let's try some more values. Make weight 45 and then BMI 14.86 and category underweight. It's important to remember that everyone's body is unique and BMI is just one piece of the puzzle. Let's now change the height and make it to 100. Now BMI 45 and category obese. Wow that's the perfect result that match. Remember. Your journey to a healthier you begins with understanding your BMI. Take charge of your health today and let your BMI be the compass that guides you towards a brighter, fitter future.